To go from one waypoint to another in iNavX, the easiest thing to do is to create a route using existing waypoints. Now, I have some waypoints here that are already uh, created, and you can see them there. Uh, I'm going to create a new route here by tapping on the waypoints item in the toolbar. Then I'm going to tap the Roots item in that list. In that uh, Roots page, I'm going to tap the plus symbol to add a new route. You can see that at the top of the screen it's named RT0001. I don't like that name, so I'm going to name this something different by tapping the... Let me go back and do that again by tapping the action button right under the battery uh, signal there. It's the little square with the arrow going out of the top of it. I'm going to select rename. I'm just going to hit the delete key to get rid of that and I'm going to call this HW to Galveston Bridge. I'm not going to go all that way, but that's just a good way to have a name. And I'm going to go back here make sure that one is turned on. It has no waypoints in it yet. Now I'm going back to my chart, and I'm going to tap this waypoint here. If I tap it, uh, the, it uh, the name label turns into gray so it's edit in edit mode I can tap the name label and I can select at the very bottom here add to root HW to gal bridge so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to keep doing that very same thing until I have all the waypoints added that I want In order to use a route that I want, that I've created, I'm going to go to the routes page. I'm going to select this uh, HW to Gal Bridge as the route I want to go to. And there in the top, I'm going to select Go To. Now the Go To has been activated. I go back to my chart, and you can see that. My first waypoint is ready to go. Now, uh, as I progress through this, each successive waypoint will be activated uh, and giving me a direction on how to go. If you found this helpful, give me a like and subscribe to Jim Sales.